Hey guys, and welcome back to How to Make Elements from Household Materials. Today's element will be tantalum. Um, tantalum is commonly used in uh, tantalum capacitors, and um, I have a tantalum capacitor here. Um, now, it's very hard to tell which one is a tantalum capacitor or not, but after you've extracted the metal, it is very easy to do a simple, a uh, couple simple tests to figure out if it is tantalum metal and, or not. Um, so the first step that we will be doing is um, taking apart the capacitor. We will probably want suppliers for this and we'll just rip off the casing and um, pull out the electrode. It's a good idea to be wearing gloves for this process because um, whatever the electrolyte is, is um, a yellow liquid substance or something. I'm not sure if it's corrosive or not, but it really stains your hands. Um, so anyhow, I'll be back when that is done. Okay, so I have um, removed the uh, casing of the capacitor pulled out the coil and um, unwound the coil to uh, get the tantalum metal that's inside of there. Um, and then I washed it off to get rid of all that yellow residue I told you about. Um, so this is likely tantalum metal, but there are some ways to test. One, it is not magnetic. Here's a ring magnet, and as you can see, it is not magnetic at all. Um, another way is to do a flame test. Um, and if it melts in the heat of a blowtorch, which um, is quite hot, as you could probably imagine. Um, then it's probably not going to be tat tantalum. But um, you can see this is a very hot flame here. And uh, if we stick this in here, it's very hot, but it does not melt at all. It stays totally fine. So um, as you can see, it's most likely tantalum. Another method for testing, which I have done, um, but I did not show here, is by sticking it in a uh, strong acid such as hydrochloric acid um, or sulfuric acid or something. All of these um, will show that it is tantalum metal as long as it does not dissolve in these acids. Um, so anyhow, um, I hope you uh, had fun getting this tantalum metal. Um, so yeah, okay, thanks for watching. Bye.